Hi, I am Chris Paul Otaibi, and you are welcome to Forex Matters, your monitor on developments in the Forex community. The last time I promised to bring to you the minds behind the BDCs. That promise will be fulfilled today because I will be introducing to you for the first time on television the Association of Bureau de Change Operators of Nigeria, APCOM. That is the body that is responsible uh, for the BDCs. So it's going to be a full half hour for the BDCs today. Plus, our other exciting segments. Do stay tuned. After this time out, you're welcome. You're welcome back. As you know, today's episode is a special menu for the BDCs. But before we meet them, let us have a quick look at what is happening in the world of economy. Banks warn customers against violation of the Central Bank of Nigeria Forex Directives. The Central Bank of Nigeria says Nigeria imports over $580 million worth of cassava byproducts every year. Central Bank of Nigeria directs banks to block 18 companies' accounts. The federal government of Nigeria spent 91% of revenue on debt servicing in six months. EFCC urges banks to query customers' sources of income. AFDB jumps into Australian capital market with $464 million kangaroo bond. And Nigeria pegs 2022 base oil price at $57 per barrel. Foreign exchange hard currencies, dollar, pound sterling, euro, Dutch max, French francs, and so on. It is all about forex. It is the denominator that lubricates the economy as well as your life. International trade is run by it. Our national economy is dependent on it. As a manufacturer, it is what you need to bring your materials from overseas. And as a parent, it is what you need to send your children to school abroad. And for critical medical treatment, Forex is what you need to get that hospital outside Nigeria. So, you need to know how it's faring in the market, how and where you can get it through the banks and the BDCs. Forex Matters will bring to you information on developments in the Forex market and how the community is responding, just to make it good for you. Forex Matters, your monitor on Forex developments. If you're just joining me, this is Forex Matters. And our story today is solely on the BDCs through the association called APCON. So what is APCON? Who are the BDCs? Well, here's a report to guide you. Association of Burude Shanja Praters of Nigeria, APCON, is the official umbrella body recognized by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to oversee the activities of Buru de Change operators across Nigeria. The Buru de Change business in Nigeria is principally regulated by the Central Bank of Nigeria. APCON consistently works with CBN to develop regulatory policies for foreign exchange operations in Nigeria. Notably, the CBN has publications commonly known as circulars and pronouncements which impact the activities of the Central Bank licensed forex operators. Functions of APCON Collaborate with CBN to ensure forex availability to small-scale end-users in line with CBN guidelines. Service tools to the CBN for the management of exchange rates. Assist in the fight against illegal financial activities. Facilitate economic activities. Provide economic data for policy decisions. Sensitization and training of BDC operators nationwide to ensure easy compliance to CBN guidelines and directives. All process to get registered by APCON is directed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The minimum capital requirement for the operation of BDCs in Nigeria 
is set at 35 million naira and there is as well a non-refundable 100,000 naira application or processing fee. This is paid to facilitate paperwork. This is accompanied by a licensing fee of 1 million naira and an annual renewal fee of 250,000 naira. After interim approval, you have to incorporate your company with CAC with share capital of 35 million naira. After all other processes would have been effected at the CBN, the Apex Bank issues the intending APCOM member with a final license before joining the Association of Burude Shand Operators of Nigeria APCON. Supposingly, membership of the association should be made mandatory by the Apex Bank before granting each BDC access to the market and after grant of the final approval. Inspectors will be directed to inspect the corporate offices of the new BDCs. In the process of granting the final approval, the Apex Bank ensures mandatory availability of the capital base of 35 million naira in the BDC account. This process makes the business eligible to buy the dollar from the CBN at specific marketable prices. Ownership of multiple Burude Shange outlets is not permissible and would be punished if detected. Top 5 places where you can find Burude Shange in Nigeria All states in Nigeria have several Burude Shange outlets. The list of these major outlets can be found on the Central Bank of Nigeria Buru de Change website. These locations make up the places with the highest amount of Buru de Change operators. Lagos Metropolis, Abuja Federal Capital Territory, Kaduna Metropolis, Kano Metropolis, Potakat Metropolis. List of APCON Council Offices. National President. National Vice President, National Treasurer, National Compliance Officer, North Central Zonal Chairman, Southwest Zonal Chairman, Northwest Zonal Chairman, Southeast Zonal Chairman, Northeast Zonal Chairman, South South Zonal Chairman. Six trustees representing the six geopolitical zones. Ex officio, Executive Secretary of the Council. As the president of the BDC, not only has Dr. Aminu Gwadabi become the brand for the positively organized uh, BDCs, he has become a credible voice for forex matters in the country. And when the news of the suspension of forex allocation by the CBN to its members, he was the first person to feel the pain. I felt worried, uh, thinking of the number of people that we now close their shop. So that have disturbed me a lot as the leader, even though it has not come with major shock. Uh, this is not the first time. But it's not a surprise because it has happened so many times in the last few years. The regulator, we woke up one day and said, men have shut the window. It has happened in 2010, 2009, 2010, it has happened in 2014, it has happened in 2016, and it's happening in 2020. So we all know when there is uh, dwindling oil prices and investors refusing to come into the country, then we run into a general foreign exchange crisis. So I think that is the uh, one with so, such parameters, fundamentals happening in the market. And you know, our business model is such that it's only dependence on the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria. So that's why once the CBN sneezes, in fact, the whole bureau, the change operators, we catch cold. So it is expected in that regard. For Guadabe, even the financial crisis that led the CBN to take his action, the financial crisis is not new. And it's all about reforms. When the CBN came in, it's all about reforms. In 1952, we have a financial crisis. By then, we are even 
having Nera and Kobo Bank. And then the CBA itself was, it was established out of reform to manage a crisis. We have seen similar crises that brought a reform, that, which is known as a uh, container volume exchange market. They also try to deal with reforms. So it's, when there are crises, it's also, you don't look at it and fall down and start crying. You look at what are the other side of it that you can explore as an opportunity, as a potential. So for us, we are proactive and that uh, we read the market, we read the fundamentals. And we are preparing our house to ensure that our people did not stay long in not doing their business. Painting the whole BDC's black is a major concern for the upcoming president. Uh, what is, is the generalization of the criminalization? You cannot take an entire sector that you are part of its existence. Do you understand? And now you criminalize them generally. Yes, there are some bad eggs among us, like I've said. But we believe that uh, it's not enough to give a general govern that will kill the business entirely. So it's time for us now all to, to see how we can go around. With its sheer numerical size, Guadabi says the BDCs bring lots of value to the Nigerian economy. The asset base of the 5,680 you are talking about is about 300 billion. Do we allow it to go to Zik? The employment so far generated by this subsector is about 40,000. Does that go also wasteful? The most important, how about the expertise and capacity built over the years by this subsector? Goes under the rain. For the first 15 years, the Birudi change have played a very potent role in the management of foreign exchange stability. We did that in 2006, when the rate was about 160, and the Bureau of Exchange were called upon to see how they can close the gap. But Amazi Mohamed Murutala is APCON's treasurer and chairman capacity building committee for the association. But then it will interest you to know that professionals from diverse fields populate the BDC's association. But how did you bring them in line with mm -hmm. how to do business of forex mm -hmm. and how to manage forex for the purpose of the public and Nigerian economy as a whole? Mm -hmm. So, there must, be, there must be a training that will make sure that all of us are in line with the current trend globally. He says resource persons for their workshops are experts in specialized areas of the financial sector. And they are taken from such regulatory bodies as the CBN, among others. We bring the regulators, especially the CBN, to train our members. You must be so sure that those from the CBN are those who are really involved in forex management and those who are involved in forex policy. So by the time they are imparting their knowledge to our operators, they will be imparting the right thing to ensure that the policies are achieved by them. And you will agree with me, if those who design the policy impart their knowledge of how the policy will be, up, will be, will be successful, Definitely, by the time they teach or train our members, our member will ensure that these policies are effectively implemented. Other regulatory agencies, which are equally uh, sensitive and strategic, also train the BDCs to keep them on the right side of the law and their businesses. Likewise, look at NFIU, Nigerian Financial Intelligence Units. We involve them too. We equally look for even area beyond forest training. 
some other occasion will involve um, tax authorities because they must be responsible to the government to ensure that they pay their tax either to the Federal Land Revenue Service or to the State Inland Revenue Service or wherever they do decide. So those are the things that we that are imparted to them to ensure that the forest policies are achieved. Besides capacity building, the training exercise is meant to achieve other goals too. In terms of forex business and management, even though we have many um, professionals, mm -hmm. you can see lawyers, engineers, accountants, economists, and so on and so forth. But how did you bring them in line with mm -hmm how to do business of forex okay. and how to manage forex for the purpose of the public and Nigerian economy as a whole. Tawe Beneza is the chairman of Southwest Chapter of APCON. He speaks on how he manages the association's largest and most active regional group. Uh, we have been trying and managing them, our people, their law-abiding members. We talk to them. We have a platform, uh, Telegram, WhatsApp platform, where we disseminate information to them. And uh, we go around to also check them. <clears throat> and uh, we try as much as possible to coordinate ourselves on uh, every market day. Contrary to popular perception that the Malamu sells dollar on the streets is a BDC, the Southwest chairman of APCON says no, that Malam is not a member of the association. Regulation that made some BDC to have li practicing license just because government feed they should be able to regulate them. That is why they call them and issue them license. So the perspective of people outside there Seeing everybody trading in FX, they term them as bureau de change. It's not so. Okay. We have central bank license regulate operators, which are under my control in Southwest, for example. And those are the ones, those are the ones I have power to control, to regulate, to talk to because they are licensed by Central Bank. So all those black marketers that were not licensed by Central Bank, I don't have control over them, but they are everywhere in the market. So people mistake them that anybody that is changing money is termed as bureau de change operators. We have licensed bureau de change operators and we have parallel markets who have been in existence even before the license ones come on board. Come on board. Okay. In fact, according to Ebenezer, virtually all Nigerians are into the road to change business. Yeah, the parallel markets, you don't, you, they call them abokis. Okay. But if you see every Nigerians, mm -hmm. they are the rude change. Mm -hmm. Most Nigerians, they go to the markets just to buy FX and keep and wait for when it goes up for them to sell. What do we call them? They are also Biruji change. <laughs> but they are not licensed to practice Biruji change. When As a man on the ground, the APCON Southwest chairman says the new CBM policy is a welcome development. As a regional chairman, you know, the new policy is a welcome development. It's a way to regulate our sector. And if you get the, uh, the MPC meeting, CBN only stops allocation to BDCs. It didn't revoke their license, okay? By the time we look at what are the challenges of the BDC, what is the way forward? They may bring them back to the system that this is how we want you to operate. Since the CBN formed the bulk of the resource persons for APCON workshops, Ebenezer believes the CBN didn't have to hurry to take that decision it took. So at that junction, it somehow 
uh, I see it as they have spent a lot of resources sending their member uh, to go around the country to train BDC. BDC is an arm of central bank. Mm. Eh? License to bridge the gap between the parallel market and the official rate. That's the role mm -hmm. of Bureau de Change. So for them to have come out to train us as their baby, which means they observe that there are challenges in some areas they need to correct. Maybe the way we send our returns. So they are out from various departments which deals with Biru de Change. And they trained over 5,000 Biru de Change nationwide. Then after the training, CBN will have waited to see that this knowledge have impacted on this my children. Let me see how they will practicalize it, whether they will be di different from where they are coming from, whether they really understand where we are taking them to. That was the Association of Bureau de Change Operators of Nigeria, APCOM, for the full half hour. You have seen some major members of the executive but as we go along, we will expose you to how the members conduct their businesses. Okay? Now, that is all we have time for on today's episode. So till we meet again to continue our discourse on matters arising on the Forex front of the Nigerian financial sector, I remain your Forex guide, Chris Bodo Taibu. Have a great day.